Okay, we've got this um, funky looking opening again, king side pawn. Looks like they're going for a little bit of a lockdown situation. Just going to bring the bishop through, attack the knight. Actually taking the knight off the board, not, not even playing. Just open up space, maybe for kingside castling, I think it might be okay. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, not sure what that dancing bishop's all about. It's looking to put pressure around here, doesn't like my knight, so that's good enough for me. I'm going to put a bit of a check on the king, bring the bishop back when the pawn drops. Yeah. Oh, so they've actually kingside castled. So at this moment in time, they're chomping at the bit to get the queen across here if we go and castle. I am going to castle into the trouble, the potential trouble, so that the opponent hopefully wastes their energy maintaining the attack towards our king and forgets that these pieces, yes, exactly. So they're opening up space around their king, they're coming towards our king, that's what I'm wanting, I'm wanting them to do that, overextend. What can we do in the meantime? We can look to develop our own pieces nice and steadily. I'm going to just come here. He wants to get rid of our knight, you see, because he wants the queen to come here. It's all pretty kind of basic, but we're going to go here anyway. And the queen guns or, or runs there, whichever way. Just hit the queen with a smaller piece. Got two protectors on at the minute. So we wanted them to overextend this way. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to work for us by improving our position on the board. Next thing I'm looking at trying to do is hitting the head of the snake like we do in the mantra and open up space around their king area as well. Don't think they will take, but um, we've been shocked before. So the bishop's taken because the pawn can't take and then the queen can come down for a check on the king. But if we push the pawn up, the pawn's going to take, but it blocks their queen's passageway. So we're weathering the storm of their attack towards our king area. This is what we want them to do. We want them to keep attacking whilst these pieces are stuck in the back. So they've already got two pieces working together and they're opening up more space around their king. So that's what we're wanting. Yep. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward stuff. So I'm going to attack the queen now with our queen, just to open up more space. As you can see, their king is home alone. It's got a rook at the side of it, but it's basically home alone. His other pieces are on the other side of the board. Does he go for the exchange or does he keep trying to maintain some sort of attack towards here? It's actually moved. Oh, I feel sorry for them. So we're going to take the queen here. You can see what they're trying to do. They're so focused on trying to get the pressure towards our king. That's, and they've resigned. 